Months after devastating and deadly flooding, Ellicott City still rebuilding. But as WSA 9 Sarah Consmo reports, the local Cub Scouts and a whole lot of other people are stepping in to help. Three inside the side. Getting people pumped up used to be Shelly Sharkey's life work and passion. It was awful. It was one of the worst days of my entire life. Until this, flood water swept through Ellicott City's main street. It washed out Misfit Fitness Studio and dozens of other businesses along the city's main drag. What made it even worse, many of these same businesses had only just built back after flooding two years ago in 2016. It was tough, it really was, and um, many people can't come back. We have um, about 20 merchants who, ha who can't come back, but for those who want to come back, they're determined. The cost of rebuilding again won't be cheap. So this year we raised $40,000. Woo! So anything that we can do is an important part of, of our overall goals as scouts. Area Cub Scouts organized this third annual 5K race today. One to help put a dent in what's needed, estimated at upwards of $2 million. We like to come back, and however they can make it come back for Ellicott City. It's a good town for the kids to experience. Uh, there's nothing like the power of community. You know, water's pretty powerful, and it can take down walls, and it can take down buildings, but it can't break us. About half of Ellicott's downtown businesses are now open for business again. It's hoped the rest will be open in time for Thanksgiving. In Ellicott City, Sarah Consmo, WUSA 9. Okay, I hope that you got a chance to spend just a little time outdoors today because, yeah, it's looking like more showers are on the way. We got Howard working hard over here tracking the forecast for us. And here's a question what's better than dancing on a Saturday? Dancing every day, right? We'll show you some new moves at the Kennedy Center.